I think a turning point has come in the human enterprise. Childhood's end is upon us. We have to drop the naive assumptions of certain truth, <coughs> perfect understanding, uh, uh, the conjuring rod of reason turns out to be a fairly weak magic after all. And we have to begin to cultivate a sense of mystery, a sense of living without closure, because that, in fact, is how the world is. The world is a mystery. It's not going to yield to the fragile constructs of the human mind. Some portion may be rationally apprehensible, but the basic uh, facts of the matter are that we do not know where we come, nor why, nor where we're going, nor according to what plan. And in, instead of seeking a flawed communication with the intentionality of deity, I think the psychedelic religious agenda, if that's how you want to think of it, uh, is a more modest one. It's a cultivation of a sense of wonder in the presence of something which obviously cannot be encompassed by the human mind. I mean, it can no more be encompassed by the human mind than the ocean can be emptied into a thimble. And uh, once you get that straight, you can go back to getting high, staying tight with your friends, making love, growing your garden, and appreciating the felt presence of experience and realizing that the abstraction game, the high modeling game, is in fact simply a game and that there should be no emotional investment in these structures. I mean, what I've learned from the mushrooms ultimately is that ideas are for play. And uh, the final payback from all of this is uh, a sense of fun, a sense of humor. The truth, for sure, when it arrives, will make you smile. If it doesn't, uh, you know, you should seek uh, a deeper truth. You know, for a long time it troubled me, this question of, of truth and falsity. And now I think that it's more like this, that the person who has the best idea, or let's put it this way, the best idea, and that means the, the funniest idea, the idea that brings the small smile to the corners of your mouth, that idea will win. It, it will win. It's twee, the cheerful. You know, twee shreds on the tail of the tiger. No blame. No blame because t the, the cheerfulness of twee overcomes the inherent reticence of the world. Uh, the light touch is the right touch. And if, if psychedelics don't give this to you, you may be an incurable case, you know. There may be no hope for you but Martin Heidegger in high doses or whatever they do with people who have displaced funny bones. The, the world is truly a strange place, getting stranger all the time. It's more the character of a pun or an optical illusion than it is the... the the world of humorless, scurrying, gray atoms and invisible forces that we inherit from nature. The laboratory of being is your own body, your experience. I mean, everything else is going to come as an unconfirmable rumor, so fraught around with epistemological problems that you might as well toss it out at the beginning and not even bother with it. The basic thing is the empowerment of experience. That's why sexuality has always raised such a ruckus uh, uh, among authority freaks. It's why the psychedelic is so unsettling. It's why youth itself is unsettling. 
uh, because these things cause symmetry breaks. They cause uh, a shift in perspective. But this is, in fact, at this point in time, exactly what we have to have. There are the technologies, the information retrieval systems, the engineering capacities to fight like hell against the dying of the light, if that's what's going on. But the will has to be activated.